Hello vlog. We are packed up because we're traveling. We're going abroad. So I'll tell you where when I get there or on an adventure. Let's go. Also, I'm dressed like a pirate, sort of. Didn't intend for it. Big pants, shirt. Bandanas are new for me, but since I'm bald now, it's kind of cool. Okay, going to Zurich, we're boarding. My friend Emma's here. We didn't know we are on the same flight. Do you, do you want to be filmed for this part? Yeah. Say hi. Hey. So, yeah, we're going to go soon. Okay, we're in Zurich. I think it's about one o'clock local time, which would be almost 8 a.m. Eastern time. I'm going back, back home from. I'm tired. I slept like two, three hours in the flight. So we are going to go for a walk around the airport. I could have gone into town today. Didn't realize that's like a 15 minute train ride into the city. Um, but I sort of missed my window for that. So I'm just gonna hang out in the airport, could go for a walk, try to get some souvenirs with people and uh, just hang out, maybe take a nap. I got a couch. So yeah, I might change too. I just wash my face and brush my teeth. So brought some extra clothes and we'll change later. But yeah, just gonna hang out today. Update, haven't slept. Getting a little loopy, but feeling fine. I think I slept two of the last 24 hours, so we're getting a little funky. Um, feeling good, honestly, just very relaxed. So yeah, I need to get water. I ran out of water. So today's theme is to survive. That's all. That's dramatic, I'm, I'm chilling. Everything is good. Okay, water secured, and it's a fun shape. I speak a little German, but not enough to like have a whole conversation, but I can be like, one water, one basa, danke. So it's kind of fun. This is kind of fun. If this comes off as weird, I'll edit it out, but it's okay. So water. I'm literally doing laps around this airport. In hindsight, I should have gotten into town, but I would have had to like pack differently and wear different stuff, would have worn jeans instead of like, sweats so interesting decisions today but having a good time i'm just doing laps I'm trying to get my steps in trying to stay active they have a gym here apparently but i'm not trying to like pay for a shower everything's expensive it's like very expensive the swiss franc is a very strong currency so good for them not good for me it's okay it's really pretty here hold on That's kind of cool. It's good scenery. Hello, this is me back in Boston, like almost a month later, actually. This is sort of a failed vlog. I didn't vlog much after the end of what I filmed, which was the end of a flight. And I did miss some parts in between. So I'll narrate the rest for you. At this juncture, I was in Zurich. I was flying to Copenhagen in Denmark. The whole point of the trip is to go to Denmark, where my girlfriend's from, to hang out with her and to meet her family. So I had to fly into Copenhagen and then take another flight into a more like rural area in Denmark. Right after I filmed that last clip, I learned that my first flight to Copenhagen had been delayed. And there was a very small window between the Copenhagen flight and the flight to the regional airport. Not only that, in Boston, they hadn't let me send my bags all the way through. So I had to grab them in Copenhagen, recheck in with the bags, go through security again, and then get on the flight. So I was stressing hard. I was like panicking. I was letting everyone know that I was like probably not going to be able to make it in. Thought I'd have to stay in Copenhagen for a night on my own, which would have been okay, but it was my first time in Europe. It's not my first time traveling internationally or traveling alone internationally, but I was kind of stressed and kind of bummed. So I did get on the flight from Zurich to Copenhagen. I got in and I had less than an hour to get on my next flight, which sucked because they were late getting the bags off. So I waited like 20 minutes for the bags. I got to the check-in for my next flight, told them where I was going and they were all shocked. The lady helping me get checked in was like, why are you so late? And I was like, it was a connecting flight. I'm so sorry. She's like, it's not your fault, but you're gonna have to run. And so she got my bag checked in and literally said, okay, sprint. So I got through security, thankfully it was pretty empty, sprinted to the gate, got super sweaty, and made it with like five minutes to spare. So the clip you're about to see is from right after that. Okay, I just sprinted the airport. It's been hectic, but I made it. It's gorgeous, check it out. And that is actually all that I filmed from my like week long trip in Europe. After that last clip, I was in rural Denmark for a few days. I hung out with my girlfriend, I got to meet everyone in her family, they were all super lovely. Then we went to Sweden for a little bit, and then Copenhagen, and then flew home. Fabulous trip, gorgeous part of the world. I have some little clips and outfits on my TikTok that you can check out. It's also on Instagram, but I think less of it's on Instagram. 
But in general, I'm sort of calling it a failed vlog in a tongue-in-cheek way. I think a lot of content creators film so much of what they do, and I just totally forgot about being a content creator for most of the trip. I did my little outfit videos because those are smaller, they don't take much time away from other people and from the experience. But instead of filming things, I just immersed myself fully in what was going on. And I want to take my pseudo failure in that I was intending to film a vlog and didn't, and make a quick point. Which is that if you're lucky enough to travel, to go to these really cool places, to be around wonderful people, it's wonderful to document the experience and have some actual physical copies of memories of it. But try to spend most of your time just engaging in it and making those memories in your mind. They won't last forever necessarily, they can change over time, and you can't pass them on to other people, aside from stories. But hearing other people's stories, especially the older people that were there, hearing the way they talked about their childhoods and like the places they'd been, and seeing the occasional picture was such a far cry from talking to younger people and getting these like whole slideshows of where they'd been, what they'd been up to, whatever, which is super cool in and of itself, but there's something so wonderful about hearing the experience of a place through someone's eyes and through their perception not just through images and videos and whatever else. Also, the pressure of social media is always present, and so it's really easy to be on a trip and be like, oh, I need to post constantly, which is technically what I did, but I really took a small part of what I was experiencing and put it online, because this is my job, so I sort of have to. But if I didn't have this as my job, I don't think I would have posted anything. It's incredibly valuable sometimes to just be in the present. It's something I don't do enough, and on that trip, I was just fully there the whole time. And I'm really glad that's the way it went. So I'm sorry I didn't share more cool things from the trip in this format, but I'd love to tell some stories from it at some other point. I just wanted to post this vlog that I'd sort of started and give my thoughts on why I didn't finish it. That's all. Have a wonderful day.